Greetings everybody, today we are going to have a book review, stay tuned. Right, so the other day I went into a bookstore and I picked up this little gem which I'd like to share with you. And in particular, with our Supreme Leader here in Western Australia, Mark McGowan. Mark, are you paying attention? So when I came across this book, I did ask the lady in the shop, do you have any other copies? She said, no, but I can order you some more. I said, no, thank you. This book is trash. However, I will buy it and take it off the shelf just so that no other parent or caregiver purchases this book and takes it home to read to their teenagers. This book sexualizes teenagers. It is atrocious and it is trash. However, it does make some good points about consent. Mr. McGowan, paying attention, let's have a little bit of a read. Your body is like its own country. There is no outside governing body. You are its president, prime minister, boss and CEO. Hmm, are we? Bodily autonomy and consent go together like the moon and the stars and the sun and the sky. Hmm, how poetic. To give and receive consent, each person is in charge of their own body. And the other person knows and respects that. Mr McGowan, I see you in the back of the class with your finger up your nose to your elbow, picking away. Pay attention. I'll read it again. To give and receive consent, each person is in charge of their own body and the other person knows and respects that. Now, over the past two and a half years, what we have been role modelling for our teenagers and children is that coercion equals consent. It does not. Coercion is not consent. We need to be very careful about what we're modelling for our children. And Mr McGowan should be ashamed of himself. Now, I'd like you to pop below in the comments any supreme leader where you might live, which you'd like to make special mention of as well. Well, that is me signing off. I am going to go and have some dinner. Until my next video, I'm going to say bye.